In this video, I'll be talking about ADHD and genetics. ADHD is a very inheritable disorder, which means that if you have ADHD, there's a very good chance that one or both of your parents has ADHD. In fact, if you have ADHD, there's an 80% chance that one of your parents has the gene and a 50% chance that both of your parents have the ADHD gene. If you look at a scale of heritability, meaning that at zero, at the end of the scale, um, certain things are just not genetic at all, and at the other end of the scale, 1.0, those are things that are very genetic and inheritable. Um, for instance, height. Height's the most inheritable thing out there. So if your parents are five feet tall, your chances of an NBA career are pretty slim. Um, although we could argue that Muggsy Bogues you know, worked for him, but um, I think he's kind of a statistical anomaly. So if you look at height being at the very end of that genetic spectrum, ADHD is kind of about right here. So it's very inheritable. And when I meet with people in my office for evaluations, I am very, um, very detailed with my family history questions. So I ask questions about family history of ADHD, bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, um, did anybody in the family commit suicide, any issues of drug or alcohol abuse. And in some families, uh, people uh, were diagnosed with what's called bipolar disorder 2, which is a milder form of bipolar disorder, and they actually had severe ADHD. So you run across that sometimes. And I also ask if there are any members of the family that maybe weren't diagnosed, but, um, but you knew something was kind of going on with them. So I think that's important to uh, explain this, not just people that are diagnosed, but people that just, um, they felt like their functioning was impaired, um, they had a hard time with jobs or relationships, and pretty much everybody in the family can name like who that was. So it's really important to know those family histories. And um, if you're adopted, if there's any way that you have access to your birth records or the family history records, that's very important because the more research that's being done, I think the more we're going to find that disorders are genetic and inheritable. So again, family history is extremely important. And if you're not sure about your family history and you have access to your biological relatives, ask them about family histories of ADHD, um, even seizures. You might want to ask if that's in the family history because that's important for your doctor to know. So ask the family members, and it's interesting to, to hear about what, what, they, what their take is on things. So maybe um, your mother will tell you about when she was a kid and got in trouble at school all the time. But back then it really wasn't ADHD or just known as the, as the bad kid. Um, so the stories like that are really helpful to us as clinicians to figure out kind of what's going on. Because um, again, ADHD is very inheritable.